Okay. Uh, who's this? This is Jack, and I'm calling you from the technical maintenance department team. And okay. this call is in regards to your Microsoft Windows computer, sir. So is I'm talking to the primary user and the owner of the computer? Well, we have a lot of owners of computers here. What is this in reference to? So there has been some portable hacking attempts made on your computer from your IP address. Wow. And to show you those reports and to help you out so that you can check those reports out, we have to talk to the primary user and the owner of the computer. Okay, so that, that, would, that, him, that that's me. Okay. So, sir, can you be near to any of the computer that you have purchased so that you can check those hacking links? Absol absolutely. I'm, I'm on one of the computers right now. Okay. And is the computer is on? Yes, it is. Okay. And, sir, first of all, I would request you that if any other application is open on the computer screen, either close them or minimize them so that you are on the main screen. Okay. Desktop screen. All right. Okay. And sir, apart from you, anyone else who use this computer, or you are only the sole and primary user of this computer? Well, it's mostly me, but there are other people who can use it. Okay. So is this a business number, sir? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. So who is the decision maker of that computer? Is that you? Well, that would be me, oh. yes. Okay, okay. Now, I'm very so, concerned because you're saying that our our what? our computer was hacked? Yeah. Just I will help you out so that you can check those reports out. All right. That's a good thing. Uh, so, so, as you were on the main screen, the desktop screen, so okay. just look down on your keyboard. Okay. On the extreme left-hand bottom corner of your keyboard. Right. Can you see the CTRL or the control key? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, next to that control key, which key can you see? There's the Windows key. You have to press and hold down that Windows key with your one finger. Okay. Press and hold it down. Do not release that Windows key. And with your another finger, just hit the letter R. Okay, so the Windows key and the R. Yes. Okay. Now, after you press both the key at the same time, release both the finger from the keyboard. Okay. Now, what can you see on the computer screen, sir? Uh, I'm seeing an audio recorder. You are seeing an audio recorder. Yeah. That you are recording right now, right? Y yeah. Okay, I do understand that, sir. That's why you're recording. Not an issue in that. Okay, so good. what exactly came up on the computer screen? Can you just read it out to me? Uh, yes, it says uh, Cool Edit Pro, three minutes and fifteen seconds. Oh, do you mean the do you mean the run box? Okay. You did did, did you did box. you want to did you want the the run box open the 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 command box the command line box? Yeah. Oh, that's up too, yes. Okay. Within that run box, what is written? Can you just read it out to me? Yes, CMD. Erase that, make it blank. Okay. Type over there MS config. It's like MS C O N F I G. All right. MS config. Got it. Now just click on OK. Okay. Now after you click on OK, what can you see now? Now it says System Configuration Utility. Yes, just below that, can you see there are some tabs like General Boot Services Startup Tools? Right, yes, those are not checked. Those That's Selective Startup. Just above that. Oh, Diagnostic Startup. Above that, just check it out. There are five tabs, like General Boot Services Startup. Oh, yeah, right, right. The tabs at the top. Okay, gotcha. Just click on that Services tab. Okay. Now, just check it out, sir. On the left-hand column of that page, you will find all the in 
security software that has been given to you for the safety and protection of the computer. Right. And just next to it, you will find the manufacturer name of the software. And okay. just check it out. Most of the software are from the Microsoft Corporation itself. That's correct. And just next to it, you will find the status. Status of the software which denotes that whether all of the software are in running status or not. Right. What you can see on the status column, is all of them are running? Well, some are running and some are not. Okay. Just slowly scroll down through that page to check it out that how many of those Microsoft security software are not working on your computer. Just check it out from your end. Count well, them out well, one by one. Well, which one am I looking for? The Microsoft security software that has gone stop, that are not working on your computer. Okay. How many did you count it out? Oh, probably about 15. Not more than that? Well, I don't know about that. Do you have any idea, sir, why this software has gone stop? Why they are not working? No, probably because I got hacked into. You're perfectly right, sir. Because while those forceful hacking attempts have been made on the computer, these are the software that has tried to stop those hacking attempts. And while doing so, they have gone stop. So it becomes easier for the hacker to access your computer, to get hold of your personal information that is present on the computer. Mm. So that you yourself can check those reports out and remove those hacking links permanently from the computer. So that in coming future, your computer doesn't send any further report to the research and development team. All right, so what do I do now? First of all, uh, you have seen it's nearly about 15 of them that are not working, right? Right. If you scroll down through that page, can you see the number of count of stop software is increasing? That is increasing? Yeah. Just scroll down through that page, you will find more Microsoft security software that are not working. Just check it out. Okay, yeah, there's a whole bunch. Well, what IP address are we talking about here? Because we have several. Mm -hmm. So the computer that is connected with the computer that is connected with the IP address. Right. You are on the right IP address. Just oh. check it out. Okay, well, which do, which IP address are we talking about? Because we have, we have several. Mm -hmm. You have to check each and every one. So do you have your IP? I, I do, address? but what, what IP address are you calling about? It is, one, it is 138.132.7.9. Okay, now hold on a second. So let's go look that up here. See, sure. that's, that's very important to find out which... Which IP address in our, our network here is, is that one? So you're calling from Microsoft. I'm calling you from the anti-hacking department team for the Microsoft Windows computer. I am a Microsoft certified engineer calling you from the department. Wow. 138.132.7.9. Looks yeah. like it's in Italy, and you must have the wrong phone number. So the number is right. The number is 203. 36, 24, 36. <laughs> no, you dialed 203-622-9836, and you have the wrong IP address. So now you have the wrong phone number and the wrong IP. You know, this is why Microsoft is losing ground to Apple. Oh, you don't care because you don't work for Microsoft. Well, they pay you, but you don't actually work for them. So Bill Gates is, doesn't come by and, and uh, you know, he doesn't sit down with you on Fridays for, you know, free lunch Friday, right? But, sir, whatever you are saying, sir, it doesn't... Standing code because the number that I've dialed, which is 203. 
Well, what's what's your phone number? Let me call you back. Sure. Okay. It is 888. Right. 727. Mm hmm. 4315. Okay. I think your your dialer is not working, right? No, sir. There is nothing like such. Okay, then, then, then the other problem here is why is 138.132.7.9 in Italy? I do not know that from where you have checked it out. That's that. Sayonara.